for tonight, we have a little something extra spooky and extra haunting prepared for you. Tonight we're in Salem for this thing called the Salem Night Fair, presented by the Black Veil Tattoo Shop, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. Tattoo parlor, yeah. So here at the old Salem Pioneer Village, they have a little pop-up with a whole bunch of witchy things. Mm -hmm. And what better place for the Grim Life Collective to be than here on a night in Salem. Now if you listen very carefully, there's creepy music permeating through the woods here. I really do feel like we stepped back in time, which is amazing because right now this event is taking place at the old Salem Pioneer Village. And if you did not know this, this is where they filmed the opening scenes to a movie called Hocus Pocus. In fact, as we cross this bridge and go over to the back side of the Pioneer Village, you're going to see three old Pioneer houses that might look familiar to you, especially this first one right here on the left hand side. The beginning of Hocus Pocus. Just walking through here. I mean, there's a lot of people. It's gonna get busier. It's a night market. Look at this. They even have stocks. Oh, and what is that? Our first figure of the night? Oh, man. All right, that's a little creepy. Now, this is one of many ghastly haunting creatures we're gonna to meet tonight. Oh, my. shivering. My boots are shaken. Now trust me when I tell you there's a lot to look at here. But before we do that, let's go look at the last two Hocus Pocus cottages. It's these guys right over here. Now the one on the end, if I'm not mistaken, that was Thackeray's. Now this is how you do a pop-up shop. Yeah. I mean, well, supposedly they've been doing this for quite a few years. This isn't the first time. This is an annual thing. Beautiful. And you remember what I said about haunting figures in the forest? Here's another one. Oh, we're being quiet. <sighs> now this place is filled with all kinds of witchy photo opportunities. This is what I picture Salem, Halloween in Salem to be like. Basically, it just feels like we're walking through old town Salem, a different world. Just strange haunting figures in the forest.
I'm telling you right now, they have a fire over there. I'm smelling hot cider Look in the, the air. Hot fire cider in the, the oh man. Yeah. And walking on these dead leaves. The other day, Jessica and I were driving through Salem. We we're feeling a little down because we wanted that old school Halloween kind of feel to it. Hayrides. Hayrides or something hatch. like that. And this is bringing it. For the first time being yeah. in Salem, I feel Halloween. So yeah. thank you, Black Veil, and thank you, Salem Night Fair. It's definitely getting darker here. And I think this is the last haunting figure in the woods we found we're gonna come across. Jessica just noticed that over here by this haunting figure. There's a pen and parchment. You can write pretty much anything you want, and I think. So you made a donation, a contribution to the dark arts. What are you gonna write? Aha! The Grim Life Collective. Who's that? I was just kidding, it's us. With love. And Stabby. All the way from the West Coast. <laughs> now Jessica noticed everybody walking up to this one cottage in particular and looking through the window. She told us told me that we got to go over here and take a look inside. <laughs> All right. It's the book from Hocus Pocus. Now it only makes sense that we start the night off at the Black Veil booth. The folks are putting this fine thing on. Look at that poster and that jack-o-lantern. Now I already bought the t-shirt, but this is the shirt. Oh, I love it. Now Jessica doesn't have many tattoos, but she really wants to get a tattoo from the brothers who own the Black Veil. She's in love with their art. I mean, look at this. Really amazing work. I mean, look at this. Damn near perfect. So I'm not cold, but I saw a sign over here that says hot cider and water. And I, I feel like I need some of this. Happy Halloween. Oh. Halloween, the fall. One of the things that screams it to me, especially whenever I was a kid, is drinking hot cider. And I don't remember the last time that I had hot cider like this, so. I'm officially loving Salem at this point, officially. And the night is just getting started. I don't know what it is about Salem. But there's something about the art here. Like, everything just feels the part. I mean, look at this. Haunting and beautiful. Wow. I mean, you know we love creepy stuff. We love all things beautiful and haunting and spooky. Look at this. I want everything that's here. Everything. Trust me, if we can fit it in our luggage and take it on the airplane back to LA, I would. But that's the joy of the internet and social media. We can order a bunch of stuff and have it shipped to our house. But buying it here, in person, oh, look at this. This witch with the pumpkin. 
Oh, I'm in love. I honestly want it all. I can see every single one of these pieces hanging on our wall in our apartment. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. You guys know how much I love t-shirts. Came across this booth, Black Caffeined, hand printed in Massachusetts. They have a website, and I think that's Instagram, Black Caffeined. Now their designs are quite haunting. I have to show you guys a few of them. I'm gonna start off with this one right here. Look at this. Jessica's obsessed with pumpkins. We both love spider webs, and we also love Salem. There's a lot of Salem t-shirts in Salem, mm. and they're eh. Yeah, I try to push it a little. <laughs> this is nice. Thank you very this much. is really nice. This okay. screams Halloween in Salem to me. Thank so you. thank you for doing this. Thanks for appreciating it. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it's giving me chills. I can feel the spiders crawling on me. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really ever recall seeing Poltergeist t-shirts. So this one here, especially that scene, oh, it takes you back. Remember seeing that scene the first time you watched Poltergeist? Now you can wear it. Here's another movie you don't see much on t-shirts. American Werewolf in London. Got a curse I cannot lift. Shines when the sunset shifts. I think I want these all. I want them all. Yeah. And of course, because it's Salem, we got Billy from Hocus Pocus. Now look at this. I can't believe I'm saying this, but basically, walking through the woods, and I come across some art like this. Now, I was just talking to the guy, and this is Zach Dunn Art. Just a quick little walk around showcasing some of the art here in Salem. And these are freaking beautiful. Oh man, that's haunting. Look at that. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh man, I wish we could take this home with us on the airplane. That's beautiful. And one of Jessica's favorite artists is here. Webs by Cinderella. Basically, it's spiderweb art. They go out into the woods, find spiderwebs, preserve them, and turn them into art. Jessica's been obsessed with them since day one. Let's get a closer look at some of the pieces here. And I guarantee you Jessica's gonna buy it, probably a pendant before the night is through. Absolutely beautiful. Now I like that right here on the table, there's a little thing that says genuine preserved spider web. Touch and feel a spider web. How's it feel, baby girl? Delicate. It delicate? Feels so delicate. Hey guys, how are you? So, I'm the Satanic Chef, and this is my cookbook. It's called Devil's Food. Up here. It's a Satanic cookbook. And it's got all sorts of amazing, amazing photos in here. This one was illustrated by a local artist by the name of Leah Anita. And these, a lot of these pictures were done by Lightwitch, also known as Courtney Brooke. And we worked together pretty, pretty well. We went out to a field and filmed this. Took these out in the middle of the winter time to really get that aesthetic of the whole Garden of Eden. So this was actually taken in an apple orchard. This was taken with, there's a better picture of that so you can take a look. And the whole reasoning behind that is, you know, the story of Adam and Eve getting offered a apple in the Garden of Eden. So a lot of Paradise Lost references there. The whole book basically is talking about, it's basically a message to tell people that humanism and things like Satanism have been embedded in, into cooking for hundreds and hundreds of years, but we just didn't know that. And that anybody can cook if you really just want to take your passion and put it there. So I also do dinners at the Satanic Temple. I have two of them coming up 
in October, October 27th and 28th. And my cookbook is also for sale. It's for sale through the Satanic Temple right now and on my website, thesatanicchef.com. You're also telling me about, you also have a TV show for on the satanic temple.tv actually yes i do it's called devil's food same title as my book perfect you perfect. should come check it out the satanic temple.tv will do man well Happy come watch me come watch me burn some bibles and hail satan still walking through the woods we come across the satanic temple here at the salem night fair as well now just recently we were able to visit the temple and thoroughly impressed I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, would you look at this? Walking through the forest, we've come across some fiends from Los Angeles. Hey everyone, I'm Leanna Vamp. I am here in Salem at the Salem Night Fair and I'm here representing my brand. I have a children's show. It's a Halloween puppet animation show called The Fiends. So we have some of our merchandise here. Um, we do pins, we do apparel, we do plushies, all sorts of goodies. We actually also published our very own children's book which is super fun. And you can check all of that stuff out at thefiends.com. And then I also have an essential oil fragrance line um, and I make all sorts of goodies. I have a honey lip scrub. I am also a beekeeper, so I harvest my own honey. honey. And this is uh, partially all the hard work of my bees in here. Um, so all sorts of goodies. If you wanna get any more information, you can follow me at Vamp on social media and get links to all of the amazing things that you see here. All right, baby bull, our last night in Salem, and we spent it at the Salem Night Fair put on by the Black Veil Tattoo Parlor. For the very first time in an entire week of being in Salem, this event in these woods, it feels like Halloween. Now let's take a minute and remember that this plot of land, these cottages, this is where the opening scenes, the Hocus Pocus were filmed. And this is where they choose to have their event. This is not the first year. This has been going on for quite a few years. That's amazing. Right? We saw ghosts in the forest. We saw amazing vendors in the forest. Mm -hmm. Monsters. We saw a fashion show. Oh, that was breathtaking. It, it, it felt like vampire brides meet legend. Meet high couture. <sighs> It was amazing, Ashley Rose Couture. That was the person who put mm -hmm. the fashion show on. These were her creations. We got to sit and talk with her for a little bit as well. It was so well. magical. The, the entire experience tonight, all, all the vendors, all the decoration, the setting with the cottages, the fashion show, it could not have been more mm -mm. perfect than it was. And it's, it's gonna take a lot to beat this for me. With that being said, whew, those are strong words. With that being said, coming to you from Salem, Massachusetts. Thank you for joining us on another grim adventure and as always, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I'm in luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day.